Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Joshua Taylor here with Salty Scales. I know you guys have been missing me. At least I hope you have. I have received quite a few emails with my absence, and I, I do apologize. As most of you might already know, November or December is our busiest uh, time of year for the apparel. And, um, you know, if you guys are interested, we're running a code right now, NOV17. Save 15% off your purchase. Great items for... Uh, for Christmas and the holidays, so saltyscales.com, check it out. But again, guys, I do apologize for being absent. I do want to post regularly, even during my peak season, so I want to try to make some of these videos. They may not all be fishing related, but hopefully they're educational and they'll help you on the water. So today, I'm gonna to dive into my four top favorite redfish lures for late fall. And honestly, these work throughout the entire year, but they're super effective during the fall season. So come along and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so the very first effective search bait for late fall redfish is going to be the gold spoon. Now, I know you guys have heard of this already, especially if you do any type of saltwater fishing for redfish. This is a mission fishing gold spoon and it's a great search bait, guys. It's, you know, heavy or dense, allows you to make long casts, but it also has this special little weed guard here that's gonna allow you to go through super dense uh, grass and it's really gonna allow you to get in there without getting all tangled up. It's not gonna affect the motion and the wobble of the lure, but this also lets off some really good vibration. That with the flash, always is a good option to trigger those strikes. My next favorite or most effective bait for redfish in the fall is the Miradine Mini in this little bitty greenback. Now as you know as the weather starts to cool off a lot of that fry bait starts to show up and this is one of their primary forage uh, species. So the little greenback, the little white bait, small profile, it's very skinny, gives off a great dart in action, and it descends at a very slow pace. Not only that, it has the small rattles inside. So that, with that intimidating or red eye, you know, and that, that little red there, I think, really makes it, sets it off, makes it look like a um, wounded bait fish or something that is ideally an easy target, and then redfish eat it up. This one's been beat up quite a bit, actually. If I don't. The next and third best option is the Czar Puppy. Now you guys have heard me talk about this little puppy. This is absolutely my favorite topwater bait, period. Uh, hands down, especially in this bone color. This bone color is a very effective uh, color for a lot of our saltwater species, especially snook and redfish. Now the puppy is, um, you know, the smaller version of the Czar Spook. Very, it's a cylinder bait, goes on the water, walk the dog, pause, it's got the rattles inside, and uh, this draws off a lot of commotion, especially on them calm mornings or evenings, uh, low light situations. You wanna imitate a wounded bait fish on the surface, this is the go-to bait, and it'll drive redfish absolutely insane. So make sure you're putting it in your box. I'll link some, um, uh, um, I'll put some links down in the description guys if you want to check out some of these lures off of Amazon It's usually where I pick up most of my my uh, lures as well So let's jump into my final and probably most effective lure for redfish All right, so my very last recommendation for fall redfish would be first off It's two parts. You're gonna need the mission fishing jig head. I prefer a 1 8 ounce or a quarter ounce jig head I think these are some of the most sharpest, most durable hooks on the market, guys. I've been a big supporter of them for a long time. And uh, again, I'll place a link in the description so you can check them out. But you're gonna need this jig head to equip with these babies right here. This is the gulp, and this is the new penny shrimp. It says outfish is all others. I'll tell you what, that has to be true for redfish. I don't know what kind of fish crack they put in these particular gulp, but redfish absolutely love them. Can't get enough of them. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to rig this. Fairly simplistic, but deadly. If you're not using it, you need to. So come on in here real close, and I'm going to show you how I rig these. All right, so you can already smell the great juices of this gulp shrimp. 
man, I don't know how they figured out the solution here to this stuff, but they really hit the nail on the head. So let's go ahead and take our jig head, super sharp mission fishing, and run that through the nose of your gulp. Now, as this gulp starts to turn on the shaft of the hook, you want to go ahead and pull the barb out the back of the shrimp. All right, so now you want to go ahead and push the soft plastic up onto the barb of the shrimp until you have something that looks like that. Now what you're going to get is a nice darting style action lure. I mean, it's not got the most action, but this little tail really flaps in the, you know, the water, creating some vibration. And of course, this flake catches the attention of those redfish, but it's out of all the different things that you can use, it's the scent that I believe that what makes this truly a deadly lure for redfish. All right, guys, and I got some private messages asking about my beautiful beard. I don't want you guys commenting no negative comments on this. I'm trying to look like a majestic unicorn. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe. I swear I'm not abandoning you guys. I'm going to have more content uh, and, you know, try to give you some informational stuff. I definitely want to get out in the water. I just don't know when that's going to be. So... Stay tuned, and if you have some suggestions, post below. Check out the links in the description. And remember, that code NOVEMBER, or NOV17 for the holidays. Take advantage of it, use it, and send us your fish pictures of you and our apparel, and I'll feature you on the Instagram and the Facebook. So go subscribe to those pages as well. Till next time, I'll see you on the water.